Hey, how's it going everybody? Tylo here, bringing you another Rival Kingdoms video. Today we are going to continue with our how-to series, and in this episode I am going to show you how to use Aegis. So Aegis is a rare ancient under the lightning element. He's uh, one of those ancients that is very underused. I haven't actually seen Aegis being used uh, on my base. Uh, on my defense log for quite a while so he's not really given so much attention these days uh, and I think um, it's probably because uh, his skills are quite unusual uh, I think some people uh, misunderstood it and I think uh, he's quite solid uh, I've done um, quite a few raids this past couple of days using him and I, I've i done pretty well actually. So uh, let's go through his skill. So his spell tower skill is Arc Lightning, radiates 212 to 265 damage over one second to enemies in close range. His first skill for my command Affected units gain 20% movement speed for 4.88 seconds and prioritize attacking defenses for 9.77 seconds. If a troop destroys a defense while under this effect, Aegis gains one bonus mana. His second skill, on your feet, instantly dispel spell tower debuffs from allied troops and heals by 101 to 112 damage. His third skill, each affected ally radiates 16 to 20 damage every second for 10 seconds. Each target can only be affected by five troops at one time, 80 to 98 damage per second. It does double damage to walls, which is good. So when I use Aegis, I normally use uh, a third skill first. I think it's um, good to build momentum early game and since it does high damage to walls, you got really that good penetration to the base very, very early and quickly. Um, I normally follow this up with his uh, first skill. I think the extra speed boost could help maintain that momentum that you built from the start and further penetrate the base quickly. Let's do some raids. So I could show you how to use Aegis at high levels. Um, we haven't got a hard one, so we'll do the medium one. Right, so it's um, an egg base. So what I would normally look first is the position of the spell towers so most of them are situated around the south you got curse touch flame bolt insanity and flash freeze so our best bet would be to go from the top i think so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to Right, deploy my dragon here. Make that cut. Then deploy all the troops down there. We need to get that 15 mana so we could use his third skill. So we got that, use that immediately. I'm going to sweep my dragon up inside the base to distract those spell towers and use his first skill to maintain that momentum. And I'll have my second skill ready for those debuffs. Right, okay. Okay, there you go. Another one. We're doing well so far. 
think we got enough troops left. Almost there. There you go. Let's try to finish this off. If we could get more loot. Yeah, so there you have it. Nice and easy. So let's do another raid. Okay, so we got a hard one. It's the current number one. Let's have a look. Right, okay. Um, hmm. So he's got his... Uh, Curse, Curse, Insanity, and Flame. So this one, where do we, I think we can go from the top, but we need to distract this one, so our troops won't get hit. So let's try that one if it works mm, is it in range yes so it's in range us yes. right let's continue to build that mana get to 15 use the third skill follow up by the first skill sweep our dragon oh this is a bit laggy Oh dear me, this the second skill. Mm. Doing well so far, I think. Right, second skill again. Right, there you go. Finish yourself, okay. So that's it guys, um, uh, that's how I use um, Aegis at high levels. Uh, I hope that you learned something from it and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, please leave a like, uh, please um, subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.